three day group. 71 in a two day. 32. Game yeah, shot on the second Merlin. leg. Graham Osher. This has been Gary Stone, 45 for the week already. I thought I went well one week and I had 41. But for example, averaging. One hundred eighty-seven, seventy-eight, fifty-six. Now we've seen his performances. One hundred. Jan requires sixty-one. EDC, and he is very, very capable. Fifty-seven. Very well thrown dart. Bring me require ninety-seven. on both occasions. Now this would hurt. 41. Oh. Jan require four. Sloppy, I think is the word we can use there. Erratic. Game show on the third leg. Just felt Gian like the leg Van was already Bain. over. It is over now. Yep. 54. <laughs> he has come out swinging. Shovel 18. Ooh. That would have been giving him a dart at tops of the match. 81. Johnny required 24. Game show on the sixth flag. 13 Van Van Absolutely Bain. under it to break back his quality. 14. To win the opening match of Group 1 and put himself in a very good position. Tops. 94. Nothing Graham Usher can do here from 194. Cross his fingers and hope. Oh, Ninety-four. Sure Bible out and pray. January required twenty. Or ten to wrap it up. Four three. After trailing, three two. Go short on the match. Finishes Tim off the match. Van Bain. Winning back-to-back -back legs in a combined total of twenty-nine darts. Finishes with an average of 82 points um, well going to last game i thought i was out i didn't even look at the table and then um, obviously i won the game and i went straight through and i went nah mm -hmm. so i thought david got through i thought david won more games than me he come down to it he never and it, i just couldn't believe it yeah does that make it a little bit of a free hit then for you tonight yeah i think so um yeah i'm, I'm ready for it yeah it's gonna be interesting i'm, I'm trying to me hardest. i mean last time i come down here i never made saturday night um i'm through now so i've got to make the most of it I know you watch this competition a lot away from playing in it, so what's it actually like to be a part of this Saturday night setup instead of actually watching it at home? I've just got to make the most of it tonight, Emmy. Um, you know, it'll probably be the last one because we've got Q school coming up. So I've got to make everything count tonight, every dart count. You know, it's, um, we've got to go for it. So does that make going out on a high and try and win the 5K a high priority, maybe a higher priority? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, everybody's chasing the 5K. I want it. Yeah, but just got to, you know, play my game, don't put too much pressure on myself and just let them go. We wish you all the best, James. Good luck. Thank you. Josh, welcome to finals night, the sixth day of action for yourself. Just describe the week so far from your perspective. <laughs> well, uh, the beginning of the week, my scoring was there and I felt really confident. And then uh, the Thursday and Friday, sort of uh, scoring went away a bit and I focused on trying to hit my doubles a bit more. And then... Uh, I've got to find a bit of a balance tonight, but I'm uh, playing well enough. And tonight it's even more important to find that balance because unlike Curly one this week, we've got a little bit of time to ease into your evenings. Only two games in the group, so you're on it from the get-go. Yeah, like you say, uh, you had a bit of time, like a few days uh, to, to sort of warm up a little bit. Um, I feel warmed up. Tonight is a completely different night and uh, tonight's when it matters really. So hopefully uh, I can get it all together. How important is it for you to win a group? Because you've come runner-up a couple of times before. You got into Champions mm. because of it. But how important would it be for you to get there on the merit of winning a week outright? Well, I've, I've won a week outright before mm. and Champions Week, but just not here. So, um, you know, I'll just treat them exactly the same and uh, we'll go from here. Wish you all the best, Josh. Good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Ranges way back on 200. 180, Joshua Gwen, 16. Game show on the first leg, enough. Josh Payne. Ready enough, hold a throw, 17 darts, so James only had. Referee Owen Binks needed a second look. 
in the last leg. James Richardson asked the question of Josh Payne. He hit a 180. 180. Josh Payne James returns 80. the favour. Josh had the answer. Does James have the answer? Tops for a level game. Game show on the second what a dark leg. That was. James Richardson. Outstanding from Richardson. Um, that mentality. Oh, hang on. Bull for a beauty. Game oh, show on the third a leg. That is Josh Payne. A 15 darter and a. Doesn't like the light. He's got to pick a pick an end. 56. Josh require 84. The, the way Josh has been wrapping up legs, you would not be surprised to see this go. He's got two darts, two darts for the match. One left at the sixes. 78. Two match darts have come and gone James for Josh Payne. James require 36. Take us all the way. Game on the sixth leg. That first James start Richardson. A bit of a guide. Bit of a feeler. Non-finish. But you feel this has to be full. Might be. One it is. 180. The single 19 would have left Josh on 167. Got to go ball here, surely. 65. James require 101. Tan plays 101. Oh, he's missed the big number. 93. Josh would require 100. This would be punishment with a capital P. P for pain. That 80. Four match darts come and gone for James Josh Payne. James require 8. James Richardson could steal this one. 4. 4 for pain. Three Josh for Richardson. Twenty. Payne revisits the board. Doesn't want to come low on this one because no score. He's give James Richardson another James opportunity. Seven four. match darts for Josh Payne. Sort of been the undoing of this. Game and James Richardson and turns it completely around. James he was Richardson. three one down. Josh Payne, we are one three five on a one four seven finish. Looked like he was gonna cruise to the finish line. James Richardson dug deep, dug in there. Welcome to finals night here at the Super Series. Just describe what that final night was like in group B. Every single player on the same amount of points going into it. Yeah, it was um I, I knew it was gonna be a tough a tough group. Um I knew if, if I could get two wins on the Thursday and, and just get two wins on, on Friday, but I ended up with three and I was happy to get through that. How do you feel getting through that group? Because as we, knew, as we know, it was a tight group, a group full of quality. It must give you a lot of confidence going into tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I've always been a, com, com, a confident player, but, um, you know, um, you've, you've just got to keep focusing and do and keep doing what I'm doing you know what I mean it's it's work it's working at the moment you played here on the opening night got through the group is it maybe a case now for you to try and get that one step better get the 5k get into champions week well we all try so yeah I'm 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 gonna try my best you know I mean I just take every, every game as it comes you know well Paul we wish you all the best good luck tonight thanks very much Ronnie. cheers thank you Six. get yourself along to the ADC and Put your name in the hat. Game show on the first leg. Graham Usher. Um, Graham Usher. And Max. And the 12 data. 98. Doesn't go the distance. Which will be perfect for him, of course. After losing his opening match. Button. 88. Graham, you require 12. Game show on the third leg. Graham Usher. Graham, you require 86. To plant a seed of doubt. And that might be the only opportunity he gets because if Graham Usher takes out this 86, it is game over. 61. That was a well thrown Paul dart. Require He's just 11. Come slightly to the side. 11 for Hogan. Two more darts to 
extend this game. Game shot on the fourth That's leg. That's a good leg there from Ooh, Paul Hogan. Paul Nicholson, he says, what you need to do is you need two points and a positive leg difference, and you are 98. guaranteed to be through. By that, Graham Musha lost his opening game 4-3. If he was to hit this tops and win this game 4-1, that would be Graham Usher through to the finals. And if I'm wrong... 9 to Graham, you require 40. <laughs> game shot out of the match! And if Paul Nicholson Graham is Usher. correct, that is Graham Usher through. And that will leave it to Paul Hogan and Gian Van Veen to battle it out for the rest of this group. Abby, welcome to finals night. Your first taste of a crowd here in Portsmouth at the Super Series. Looking forward to it? Yeah, of course. If you'd have given me this at the start of the week, especially after Monday, and I'd have bit your hand off. So, uh, as I've said before in interviews previous, it's, you're looking to progress, play better each day. I feel as if I've done that. But there's, there's, there's guys in there that everybody wants to peak on a Saturday night. This is where you want to play your proper darts, so hopefully that can come out tonight. Do you feel like things began to click for you in Group C? Definitely. Uh, I, I said to myself after, after Monday, I think, if you'd get maybe nine months ago, a year, year and a half, maybe I would have probably spat the dummy after Monday and it would have probably cost me the week. Refocus, go again Tuesday, Wednesday, try and get that, that win, winning mentality for starting again on Thursday. And that's what I did. And then hope, I said to myself, just try and hit the ground running on Thursday. Managed to stay top on Thursday, into Friday, and then we're, we're here. So I think it's went to plan so far. Would you say the experience of this format has helped you at times this week? Oh, 100%. 100%. Um, I think guys, like, you see Adam coming in. I thought Adam done really, really well this week, to be fair. He's a great guy, great dark player. And you can see once he starts getting used to this stage, I think he's going to be a trouble for a lot of people. Uh, it just cost him a wee bit in the end, I think. Um, whereas, obviously, guys like me and Graham, where Graham had an absolute shocking one, the same as myself. But we managed to recoup, re re go again. And um, as I say, it's all about the Saturday. I said at the start of the week. Mondays, Tuesdays, but nothing's won at the start of the week. It's all about the Saturday. Well, Gary, wish you all the best. Good luck. Thanks very much. Because if it goes 40. for two, it will James go requires legs 70. one to Gian. So Hogan has to outperform him because he only got one leg in his game with Graham Usher. Game show on the first leg. One leg James into this game Richardson. Gary Stone has not started yet. Back to back 15 dollars. Now there's Gary an opportunity here. 79. Gary Stone has to take. You feel it could run away from him if he don't get this top. 39. Tops has been a good friend to him all week. James, you require but eight. Not on this occasion. It's more like an enemy. Because that was a well thrown dart. James has got three darts of his own. Four. Didn't really scare Gary that. Gary, you require too much. 40. No. Game shot on the second leg. Gary Stone. Gary Stone steps in and says, thank you very much, Richardson. Not even halfway through the leg. And since you mentioned the 140 stat, the commentator's curse is alive and well, I see. 70 He's not here, 140. 20. Game yeah, I wasn't the surprised to see Gary Stone go Gary for the top tops because he's been so good on it all week. And when you like something like tops, surely you're going to like the breakdown in the tens. Which I think of the eye, James Richardson has got the darts back. Back in the groove. 140. That is the ninth. 140 of this game for James Richardson. 180. He knew it was coming. James, you're recording. Just surprised it took four legs to see one. Gary Stone hits a 180. It's 46th of the week. 38. Gary what requires time to do 64. so as well. Just when James Richardson thought he was. Going to canter to the finishing line in this leg. Gary Stone, it's a 180 to leave 64. He's got a dart, a double 16. Which I'm surprised at, considering how often he's left tops all week. How good 63. he's been on it. And 10s. Tops. 43. Bit of a quick Gary one. requires 16. Game show on the fifth leg. I've been keeping my eye Gary on Stone. the averages throughout this game and Richardson in the madhouse. 
Only one thing you can do here. No score. That's hit the double Very one. Require 53. Anything else will not count. Harry Stone is going to leave himself on that favourable tops. Going James Richardson had match. his opportunity there. If he Gary could beat Gary Stone. Stone, he would have guaranteed his position through. But we've now got to wait. Game shot on the second leg. Paul Hogan. Hogan. Matches the uh, January 124. his place in the semi finals. Game what a way to do it. A 1 Jean 2 4 Van from Gian Van Veen has just confirmed his place through. 105. January 120. Green has took a big finish out in this game. It was the 1 2 4. It was the shot that qualified him through. Game it's a 120 the that sees him Jean win Van the Vane. match against Paul Hogan. A disappointing night for Paul Hogan, who just hasn't turned up and hasn't produced like he has the last couple of nights. And we Joshua requires 36. Level game. Game shot on the second leg. Josh Payne. Round two. Very, very solid. Holds a throw. A 76. Attack. Gary Maguire, 48. This is to go through. Tops. He's loved it all week. Game shot He'll the love third it even leg. more now. Gary, Gary Stone. Stone is the first player in group two. Confirmed through. So he can himself three. a match Gary down Gary Maguire, here. 106. He's been so good around the trouble 20. And he is there again. Game shot on the match. That wraps it up and sends Josh Payne home. A very good performance from Josh Payne. He played well in his opening game, went 3-1 up, and it just didn't happen for him in the end. Two. James requires 65. James Richardson, an opportunity to break the throw at the first time of asking. Two darts at tops. Good lie. Game Used shot well. on the first leg. 15 darts for James Richardson to break the throw. It's a bit dry for him. Yep. Yeah, you'll only get away with it. So 60. Oh, you'd feel James, like you require 20. And at the moment, there is a huge void. In Game the averages. Shot the second leg. And James the Richardson. Throw is backed up with a 16 dart hold. It's 2 0 to Richardson. Nine, see, January to just switch two. off in legs. A bit James Wade like. Not in a, too much of a negative, but James Wade often says like if he doesn't start well, he doesn't want to waste a one eighty in, in a the leg. Third leg. And James Jan Richardson Van essentially Vane. has done his job already. He's got the breaker throw on Gian. Ready this week, Gian yep. Van Vane, the one seventy. He will return for the twenty five. So I said James Richardson had done the hard work. Nine to be and done. twenty five. Gian can take out this twenty five. It'll be a level game and he'll be back with a throw when just flicked my eye at the averages and he's completely turned those around. Yeah, in the last two legs, he's hit the switch. He's hit the afterburner. Game shot on the fourth he's back leg. To 15 up. Gian Van Veen. With a 14 dart break of throw. Very, very impressive turnaround. One seems like another player that's just affected by what's gone before him. 85. Sixty. It's all about who comes James out with this situation 41. the best. James Richardson is tops away from that being him. Game shot on the fifth leg. James Richardson. In this final. It's the other player punished, which is exactly what Richardson has done. And he's kicked off 140-140, and he's in again. 180. Class. Average goes up to 100. He's three from four on the doubles, so you'd imagine James two darts should 41. be more than enough for James Richardson to get this one wrapped up. And James shot Richardson the touched the afterburners. He won that little tight moment I was expecting to see. And then an amazing last leg where he's gone out in 11 darts. James and that was full three as well. Nine.
98. Mm, Graham, you're a prediction in there. Eight. Matches littered with 180s. Game show on the met. first leg. Graham Archer. First blood. We had a 16 dart break a throw, and Gary made a slow start to his match against. A couple of trebles here. There could be problems. It's a little think. He wants 65. 25 for tops. 170. Course, Gary requires 74. Normally the way. Forty-two. Mm, opportunity. Well, I was going to say maybe it Graham, doesn't matter. Graham, you require fifteen. No, it might. Game it show on the second leg. Graham Archer. The break with a seventeen dart hold. To Eighty-two. Big Graham, you require eighty-one. Huge. This is massive. Game show on the oh, third leg. Sure. Certainly Graham has the answers. But that's another missed out at a double. So far, not converted any, Gary but he absolutely loves this tops. He's been pinging it all Game week. Game show on the fourth leg. And he just sort of expected Gary Stone. that Gary Stone was about to put his first leg on the board. And most importantly, it's a break of throw in one night. Well, we know what Gary Stone can 96. do. 96. Gary Graham Usher on 147. History has a habit of repeating itself. Not on this occasion. That could be the last real sort of competitive dart that Gary Stone throws in this because Graham Usher has yet to miss a dart at a double in this yeah, match. Correct, that was a wry smile. He was thinking about it. 87. Graham, you required 14. 14 was a magic number for Gary Stone in breaking Graham Usher to keep this game going. Game but shot game out of the over. Graham Usher. Graham Usher has got himself through to the final with victory over Gary Stone. Four legs to one. 60. Graham Usher lost his opening game of the night. James Richard Richardson lost his second game and had to rely on the results going his way, which they did. Eighty-five. Graham, you require twenty-four. Game show on the first leg. Graham Usher. Graham. James, you require ninety-three. Suppose that last start from James Richardson just further confirms what I was saying about every start becomes under the microscope. Every moment just becomes bigger. Well, twenty and ball. The 18's blocked, so balls the shot. 92. Wow. James, you require 18. Love stuff on four. Game show on the second leg. James Richardson. Response is an 18 dart hold of his own. Set up those practice days and you, you almost prep for them. And you get your mind right Graham for the Graham days. Your only focus is the darts. Game shot on the third Nothing leg. Nothing wrong. Graham Archer. Graham's focus there. His second 17 darter of the final. One hundred and eighty. James, you've got one hundred and fifty-five. Third maximum of the game, two to one. Graham Usher, which is actually the scoreline in the match as well. So we might be about to extend that. 131, Graham, you require 41. Two legs, 3-1, a break, a throw. Ball on the line, double 16. Game show on the fourth leg. And Graham anyone Usher. Anyone who kept the faith of Graham Usher and took that 18 to 1 is getting mightily excited. Only the pressure of winning because Richardson back on 190. 80. Graham, you require 20. 110. Gets Game it done this time. Wraps it up with Graham a 16 darter. Winning legs in the final for Graham Usher at 17 17. That beautiful 12 dart breaker throw in leg five. A 1 7 7 in the final leg of the match and gets it done in 16 darts. And then oh, Graham, uh, incredible week, incredible night. What a way to end it. And I know it's a, a family affair for you this evening as well. 
yeah, my son and his girlfriend and my mother, uh, his mother-in-law's come down. So that means a lot for them to travel all the way from Scarborough today, seven-hour trip. That's got me through, but oh, what a roller coaster from Monday. <laughs> yeah, you lost your first five matches on Monday. Three of the matches in Group A, 15 matches, three of them were won. How on earth did you turn it around? Again, I know he's not going to be happy about this, but Gary Stone, he just sort of took me one side and said, look, you've got another go again. Let's go on Thursday. Let's play in the final together. You know, Josh, he's a stable mate, so it's nice to play Josh as well. But, you know, obviously getting Gary in the semi-final, it wasn't easy, but there's no friends up here. Down the back, in the back room, we played, you know, practice and have a bit of a laugh and a joke. But on here, it's unbelievable. I just can't believe I've come through after Monday, Tuesday and won it, Chris, to be honest. You're the first player to make it through to both Champions Week since we've been here at the Super Series as well. Um, you got to the final then. Do you feel you've got a score to settle having got so close but not taken that first title? Yeah, Conan played, played well in the final. He had a lot of support in the crowd, but it's always nice to sort of get back and give it a second chance, really. And yeah, why not? Let's go, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> uh, there's one thing that Matt Egg has been talking about a lot in uh, commentary this week as well, so I wanted to, to bring it with you. It's throwing darts with both hands. So you do it in practice. Is it something that you actually ever would employ in a match if the well, circumstances were definitely. right? Definitely. Um, so I've done it a couple of matches where I've, I've covered double 16 and my dad's sort of lay like that. So I throw right handed. It just opens the bed up a little bit, but a bit different on me because if, <laughs> if you miss it and it or in marking, he's not going to be very happy. But yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll practice right handed. Just then when I switch back to, to left, it switches me back on. Just it's, yeah, it just works. Well, you're through to Champions Week. You might need both hands to lift that big check as well at the end of it. Fingers That's crossed. Aim, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Graham Usher then through to. <laughs>